and we're back and what better way to start this video off while sitting in downtown Chicago traffic and we are supposed to be delivering three drops today with brand new Volkswagen Atlases and for those of you who know Chicago is the best place to deliver new vehicles it is actually not that's just sarcasm but either way welcome back to the video guys if you're new here subscribe and there we are back in the office enjoying those crazy bumpy roads that need road construction in Chicago and we're here it's raining it's raining it's been raining and I don't know if it's gonna stop raining yeah never mind I'm getting back in the truck the app told me that it's supposed to stop raining in 10 to 15 minutes I'm gonna wait for that because there's cars passing right next to me and if I'm gonna be standing right next to the trailer I'm gonna be getting soaked yeah the good old middle lane that's where we are at dealership is right over there always unload in the middle lane here they do not have an entrance and this road is super busy so I'm not gonna be backing in or backing out I can see the sky clearing up right over there sunlight come here so there's the load I know you guys didn't get to see it last night because it was dark and it's about to get dark where I'm at as well because I am in Chicago and that's all we got Volkswagen Atlases we got eight of them the only one that's a cross sport is that one right there I put it there so that we can make our height lower and what's coming off over here in the middle of the street are these three one two three that's our first drop then we have a second drop it's gonna be one two three underneath and our last drop is gonna be these two on top of the truck but as you can see how busy this street is and every time a car passes the water picks up and it sprays i gotta undo these straps real quickly i might not be recording as i'm doing it because i don't want to get all wet so the way that i parked i kind of turned a little left over here and i left more space over here because i have my hydraulics over here my levers and i need more standing space over here i'm going to be on this side a little longer than i am on that side but I turned the truck a little bit to the left so that we can be protected, you know? Cars get a little further since the truck has turned a little left. Over the river and through the rain. Cross the road safely. It's really busy over here today. Look at that, two off, one more to go. Then we're gonna lower this deck down, slide our ramps in get a signature from the man over there who's checking in those two already and we'll be done with the first drop and here's the check-in process they rip all of these things off this was on the hood and they check for damages all around the car he said he's gonna go get the manager i'm gonna quickly go close up my trailer and there we got it a trailer is lowered down got it closed up now all we need to do is walk back over here get the signatures and we'll be able to go do our next two drops. Successful drop, we got the green light. Next drop, here we come. And I've made it to my second drop. Technically we're not allowed to unload on the road here. Or who said that we're not allowed? I just never done it before. Because there's another drive that I have to drive in and back up into. But that takes way too much work and it's getting dark. And I gotta be quick. I just got three cars here check this out i just got here dropped these three cars off pulled the keys out i thought that they would already be gone it's already 9 30 for me that's 8 30 chicago time but these guys are still here for another 30 minutes i went inside i saw some people i'm like hey you guys still open he's like yeah yeah let me go get the porter look at that they're still open i'm about to get these three cars still checked in and get a signature for it look at that green light on that one as well we got signatures Thank you for being here so late. Volkswagen of Liberty. And here we are, that position right there. I'm gonna go and lower it right away. Got her done, address in, address in, 15 minutes away to our last drop. Oh yeah, look at that. Just like that, we are here at our final last and last stop. Look at this tree looking cute anyways two more cars to go this one is closed for sure 
but I have to unload this one here. This is called a cross sport and an atlas up there. This day is turning out to be very long and tiring. Um, after this, I'm gonna drive probably an hour and a half, park at a Petro to sleep, and uh, I'm gonna have to put my bed sheets on. So I might show you how I do that as well. For now, let's get these puppies off of here because their rent has expired. So check this out, green, green grass until you get right here. And you may wonder what happened over here. It has to do something with the car hauler. <laughs> this is where the car haulers always park. And my guess, which is probably 100% accurate, car hauler was just facing the other way and he parked over here. And the exhaust pipe was right over here. And he probably had a good regen going. And it just burnt the grass away. Poor grass. It's exactly what happened. You can see it getting wider. Here they are, two cars off the truck. Truck is closed up. Finally, it feels great. I can't believe this. Their door is open and there's a man sitting right there. That's his head. <laughs> if they actually check in these vehicles right now, it's 10.30 my time, 9.30 their time. Let's go in here and see if they can do so. It's pretty cool. No, oh, you will not believe it. See that car? Both of them? It is 10.30 p.m. my time, 9.30 their time. And they were here. They signed for them. I'm like, I can't believe you guys are still here. They're like, yeah, we can't believe it either. They still have people in the sales room. They're literally making deals, making money out here. And we got signatures. We got everything closed up. That's a good way to end the day. Literally signatures, all three drops. And I thought that I wouldn't even get signatures at all, any of my drops. Now, time to get in this puppy, drive to a Petro, and get some rest. Alrighty, here's the parking situation for tonight. We are at a Petro, fuel pumps are right there. So it has been a long day, I'm extra tired today. That bed hasn't been slept in yet this week. So I gotta get in there, put my bed sheets on. Headed into the kingdom. And here's the bed sheets. Gotta put my pillowcase on. Hopefully I didn't forget it, cause sometimes I do. But before we do that, we gotta get all these bags out of the way. I got some bags here, got some bags there. Got the pillowcase on. So check this out. This is the door underneath this bed. This is where the tie down stick is, the high stick. And when you open this door to reach that stuff in there, it's all exposed to the sleeper. I don't like that. I only open it up when I'm throwing my stuff in here in the beginning of the week. Besides that, there's this cover thing right here that we can close right up. And that ensures you to not only soundproof your sleeper a little bit more because this is thick material here, so when you open that door, no rain gets in, no bugs fly in, and nobody can really see what's going on in your sleeper. Just imagine you open this thing and a huge bird just flies right in. Now watch as I put the bed sheets on. I have to pick up this whole thing in order to put the bed sheets on comfortably and let's put it on. A wise man once told me that if you put bed sheets on as a man, then you are a real man. And if you are a real man, then you will be able to do real man stuff. Anyways, no one ever said that. I just made that up because I didn't want this video to be just silence. So here's me putting the bed sheets on. Ta-da, there you go. Look at this cozy bed. Bed sheets are on tight. That's why I gotta pick up both sides because it's pretty difficult to get those bed sheets in and under the mattress. So there's the bed. I can put some of the bags back over here right next to our head, right where they belong. And right over here, the stuff is not in the way. Look at that. Now all I gotta do, I kinda close these curtains, not all the way, just so that some air gets through here still. Gotta turn off these lights here. Make sure the door is locked. 
come back here close this up a little bit just like that get tucked in get cozy and we're gonna leave it on cold tonight because it's still kind of warm outside but that's it guys all my fellow car haulers stay safe if you're new here subscribe stay tuned we got more stuff coming i'll catch you all in the next one god bless and good night yeah guys make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more awesome stuff